Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Shall we be on our feet? Let's be on our feet. Shall we just open our mouths this morning and give God the praise? Will you join me this morning to bless the name of the Lord? Join me to bless the name of the Lord. Say something. Thank you for bringing us your presence. Thank you for bringing us to this place. Thank you for bringing us to this place. Oh, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Bible says, I was glad when it said unto him, let us go to the house of the Lord. Oh, we are thankful. We are thankful this morning. We are grateful. We are saying thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you for. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Nakataboshe, nakatanadabatiata. Lord, I have come to say thank you. I have come to return all thanks unto you. You are the all-mighty God. You are the all-powerful God. Oh, you are the all-wise God. You are the one that has been before the beginning. You are the one that will be after the end. No one can be compared to you. No one can be compared to you. No one can be compared to you. Nikanda ka re anabo suta lagata. Are you saying something? Are you saying something to God? Inka de kabo suna ka bo sheke tagata baliata. Let it come from the depth of your heart. Let that thanksgiving come from the depth of your heart. Babu says, be thankful unto Him. Ida hati kabo kabo suna lagata lagata baliata. Eka bo sheke tega tega debo. From the depth of your heart, will you say thank you? From the depth of your heart, will you say thank you? From the depth of your heart, will you say thank you? He said, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Will you thank God this morning? Oh, will you thank him for protection? Will you thank him for provision? Lord, we have come to thank you. Lord, we have come to thank you. Lord, we have come to thank you. In a kate malada gata da bata la diata bosunda. Yega po sheke tege 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In a cani canama takaria tabosu taladaba in cabo shake the gedebo caboso taladaba la da gadaliata e cabosu talagata baliata. It's a hand time to his gate with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. He said, Be thankful unto him. Bible says it is good. Give thanks unto the Lord. He can a capo shake taladiata. We thank you, Father. 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 We thank you, Lord. He can mata ya tabaka tayaka bo shake the gedebo in nakaria takata badatiata. Rekebo sun tayaka teka bo shake taladabaladiata. Ma taladabo ta leka bo sun dalagadaba. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's open our Bible to the book of Isaiah chapter 32. Isaiah chapter 32. Isaiah chapter 32. We'll take verse 15. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 15. One five. The Bible says, Until the Spirit be poured upon us from her, the wilderness be a fruitful field, and a fruitful field be counted as a forest. Until the Spirit be poured upon us from her, and the wilderness be a fruitful field, and the fruitful field be counted as a forest. I want us to pray this morning and ask for the outpouring of the Lord upon this service, upon this place. Let the heaven be open. Let the heavens be open. Let the spirit of the Lord come down. Oh, let us have a fellowship with him. Ah, will you join me this morning to pray? Lord, let the spirit of God come down. Let there be an outpouring. Let there be an outpouring so that we will see the miraculous. So that the, the wilderness will be counted as a forest. So that the wilderness will be counted as a fruitful field. And the fruitful field will be counted as a forest. Will you join me to, to pray this morning? In a kataba talada gadaba, la bosu te kataya daba, la de bosu tagadaba. Are you praying this morning that there will be an heart point? Are you praying this morning that there will be an heart point? In a kata kataba la da gadadiata, ye kaboshe ke te gadabo, la na bosu talagada, that your hacks that there will be an heart point in this place. There will be an heart point in this place. The heavens will be open over this place. The heavens will be open over this place. In a couple we have a fellowship with your spirit. We have a fellowship with your spirit. In the katagada baliata, ek osheke tege 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 debo. Osunte katala diata ba katala dagada ba. Are you praying? Are you praying that there will be an outpouring? The heavens will be open over this house. The heavens will be open over this assembly. The heavens will be open over this place. In neke tege debo sutela. In na kapo sheke tege 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 debo. Is that a sort of Spirit coming down like you know, upon him. Will you talk to God this morning that there will be an outpouring? The spirit of God coming upon him, the spirit of God coming down in this place. Manifestation of the spirit of God in a kata kata la diataba and ye kabo suta ya kata kata la diagada baladiata ye kabo sheke teke 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 debo in ke po suta ya in a katia tabala i kabo suta ya kata baladiata ma kabo sheke teke teke debo. Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you saying something to God? Are you saying, God, let the heavens be hope? Let the spirit come upon us from on her in the katabata ladia tagada. Let the heavens be hope. Let the heavens be hope. We want to see the miraculous. He said that the fruitful field will be counted as a for oh something that couldn't be will become because of the spirit of God in a kagapo shekata in makata kata badaka ikepo soto koto koto iketa ya dagata kada baladiata makata bo suta ya kada ba ikepo shekata kata ya tabata ladiata ikaboto koto 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 ikepo shekata kada kada bo ikabo suta ya kada ba in Jesus name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. We should be taking that prayer point. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1. The Bible says in verse 35. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. When Mary asked the angel, that how would this thing be? 
how shall it be knowing that i have not known any man how could you say that i will become i will have a shell he said the holy ghost will rest upon you will you talk to god this morning again let there be an outpouring of the holy spirit we want to see the miraculous we want to live here with a miracle we want to live here with a testimony we want to live here with something outstanding an outpouring of the Holy Spirit, an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. In a katakata la da gada baladia, ik osuta ya osheke te gada gada bo. In a kapo suta la da gada ba, ma ta la dia ta gata la gata bo sheke te gada 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 bo. In ke po suto koto koto, upon us from on her until the spirit be poured upon us from on her and the fruitful field will be counted at this fort in a kete bahani ataga eke osheke teke 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 tebo imo soto koto koto blessed be your name jesus hallelujah can we continue in that atmosphere of um, praise ere borodon do soso fedia kalabara bado shushi pedia kalabado siya we have come to see God and not man. I want you to believe in your heart today that there's a word for you in church. There's a word for you and you will receive that word before you leave today. And the Lord will open your eyes. He will open your mind. He will open your heart to receive all that he has for you today. And that is how I come to church every day because I believe that there is a word for me. And you would not miss that word. So I want you to commit yourself in prayer and praise, raising melodies in your heart to your God, to your Lord. And all we want to do today is to exalt you from the prayers down to the benediction that you be exalted in our praise, in our worship, in our singing, in, our, in, our, in the message in our even drinking of water and engaging ourselves that you open the eyes of our hearts and we will see you exalted and glorified among us I can hear your voice I want to believe that you are singing in your heart you are praising in your heart you are raising melodies in your heart you are focusing on your lover if there are distractions around you, close your eyes and focus on your Lord. Because He only wants to be glorified in your heart today. Maladosha. Ekra daba yaga daba yaga dada. Elia baladosi siyakataya. Shaka daga 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 daga. Make melodies in your heart. Make melodies in your heart. Make melodies your hearts make melodies in your hearts my friend make melodies in your hearts sing hymns sing your local dialects sing your own song find your own posture because the lord has come for you 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 he has come for you for lakemi he has come for you samsayo he has come for you kemi he has come for you, Anatsu. He has come for you, Dami. He has come for you, Femi. He has come for you, Sheo. <laughs> hey. ah. Open the eyes of my heart. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you.
that song deliberately. You can only move as far as you can see. You can only move as far as we can see. We can only move as far as we can see.
shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven.
we bless you our father and we thank you for the privilege of being alive and standing in your presence and we thank you for your covenant of divine protection over every life over every family and over those who are joining online we thank you for your faithfulness and we thank you because unto you shall the gathering of the people be and we'll bless you our father put your hands together and bless the lord this morning hallelujah hallelujah god bless you baby seated hallelujah glory be to god hallelujah hallelujah you were wonderful to me Wonderful to me, wonderful to me, Jesus. Wonderful to me, wonderful to me, wonderful to me, wonderful to me. You are glorious to me, you are the glorious one. to me to be alive why don't you worship the almighty god and put your hands together in honor of the king of kings the one who answers prayers the one who never fails your father your real father give him glory give him glory if you are grateful come on jump out of your feet and magnify the lord and declare his glorious declare his glorious glorious Glorious, 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 What a mighty God that we serve! Heaven and earth adore Him. Angels bow before Him. He is the same yesterday. He is the same today. And He is the same forever. Hallelujah! Glory! 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 turn your Bibles this morning to Psalm 91 and let's look into the scriptures hallelujah I was glad when they said to me let us go into the house of our God hallelujah 
because he's going to show us his ways. Praise God. Psalm 91, I'll start reading from verse 1 very quickly. The scripture says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of my God, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely, come and say surely. Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence. He shall cover me with his feathers and under his wings I will trust. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. I shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in the darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. For a thousand shall fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand, but it will not come near me. Only with my eyes will I behold and see the reward uh, of the wicked uh, because I have made the Lord uh, who is my refuge uh, even the most high uh, my habitation uh, therefore no evil shall befall me uh, neither shall any plague uh, come near my dwelling uh, for he shall give his angels uh, charge over me uh, to keep me uh, in all my ways uh, they shall bear me up uh, in their hands uh, lest I dash my foot uh, against a stone uh, thou shalt tread upon the lion uh, and the serpent uh, the young lion uh, and, the and the dragon uh, I will trample uh, under my feet praise the Lord put your hands together and bless the Lord hallelujah God bless you have your seat in the name of Jesus hallelujah listen to me we stand in a day and in a time when we need to be reminded that God is still mindful of us. That the budget to run our lives is not going to be from our salary, but from the bank of grace in heaven. You need to know and remind yourself that you didn't wake yourself up this morning. It was the voice of the Lord that your spirit heard that made you open your eyes. Uh, that the day you went to the island and you came back, it was not because you entered the right bus. It was because the Lord kept you. And in this season, the Lord wants to remind you that he is still watching your back. Hallelujah. He said he's watching your back the day you realize it and the day you are not mindful of it. God says, I should tell you, he is still watching over you. He said, behold, I have inscribed your name upon the palm of my hands. So anytime God taps his hand, he sees your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know how he does it with over six billion people, but you may not be important to me. You may not be important to your boss, but listen to me, your real father. Your real father. Every morning, it is your name, he looks at Janet. Oh, hallelujah. Aren't you glad you don't have to pay any bribe? For God to remember you. When he wanted to give up on that cross, then he thought about me. Yeah. He said, if I give up, Benga won't make it. If I give up, Janet won't pull through. If I give up, Dami will be stuck. Listen to me. God has the budget. All prepared, approved by the Senate of Heaven. And that budget is in your name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said, if I dwell in the secret place, which means there is a place in God that most people do not have access to. The devil knows uh, that he, he may not be able to fight with you uh, over your prophecy, but if he can get you out of that place, that me place with God, uh, that place where it's just you and God, uh, the audience of one, uh, God, Satan knows that if he can convince you to get busy but guilty, uh, that he won't need to struggle about your prophecy again uh, because there are certain things that only thrive under certain atmospheres. You take out the virus, the HIV virus, and put it in the air, it dies. It dies. 
as powerful as that thing is, that lady told you, say, I love you, I'm going to marry you, but you know, I just need to tell you I'm HIV positive. Though I'm on treatment, I'm on drugs, my viral load has gone down. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm not marrying again. Amen. <laughs> See, what about God says? Say, which God? <laughs> you just told me you, you just told me you, had a, you have a child. You said, God, say, please, you know what? See, Pastor Benga. <laughs> He's the one you need right now. Amen. <laughs> Let him pray for you. After that, we can have a conversation. But I'm not God. I'm a banker. Amen. <laughs> There's a place in God that is called the secret place. It is the place where high level transactions are signed. It is the place where you can negotiate. It is the place where God says, bring forth your strong reasons. I want to do something in the earth, but if you can convince me, I will listen to you. It is the place where only friends of God enter into. Say, can I do anything without telling my friend Abraham, there is a place in God that most people don't have access to. And can I tell you, the requirement is not a very big requirement. You see, the requirement is so simple that we trip over it. Our Lord Jesus said, if any man comes to me, I will not cast him away. So the first requirement is to come. Come and say come. Now, I know that sounds very easy. Because the moment God says come, like Isaiah, you now say, ah, I'm a man of unclean lips. The one who said come already knows. Come on, say come. Say come, say come, say come, say come. Now say that's me, that's me. You see, I know you came yesterday. I know you, you were here two weeks ago. I know you were on a retreat for three weeks. But the verdict, the, the cry from heaven today is for you to what? Is to come again. Come, come, come. There's always something new. There's always something new in God. The problem is that we have fit our understanding and revelation and description of God to that which is in the open space. That which has, is revealed. But do you know that there are dimensions about God that are yet to be revealed? Do you know that God revealed himself differently to every prophet in the Bible? And do you know that God has not stopped revealing himself to men? Do you know there are men that are not pastors, there are apostles in the marketplace, and if they tell you the kind of encounters they have with God, and they are not pastors. They are not pastors. There are businessmen that operate by the audible voice, but they are not pastors. Meanwhile, you are a pastor, and you've been praying 79 days. Every time God speaks to you, it's in your heart. And God doesn't talk too much. He says, my son, I love you. That's all he tells you. This one is going into a business deal and it goes by the hearing of the ear. And when they're about to change the game, God will say, ask for Mr. Kingsley, a pata. Say, please, where's Mr. Kingsley? Oh, you know Mr. Kingsley, pata. He say, can you ask him to come? Ah, that's the chairman. Ah, okay, okay, let's slow down. This man knows somebody. But you only heard the name. Come and say, I can get to that level. Yes, 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 yes. You see, but those are conversations for God's secret friends. Because God knows that at this level he can trust you. You are not following for what you are going to get. You have a relationship. And that relationship, nobody, your wife cannot come in between it. Your husband cannot come in between it. It's a covenant. That is your first true love. Even if you met your wife before you met God like this, you will switch roles. So you also tell your wife, from today, I'm no more your first love. I'm your second love. So, because me, I've also removed your name. From You are not my first love, you are my second love. So, let, so I just balance. So I won't be expecting what I cannot deliver. What was the accusation the Lord laid against that church in the book of Revelation? He said, I have just one thing against you. Say you have left and you have forsaken your first love. So what was it about what is it about this first love that is so big? God didn't say, oh, you are not winning souls. Oh, you are not, you are not praying. God is saying, you've, you've, you've abandoned the place of our union. You've allowed time, marriage, career pursuit, the good things of life. Do you know some people lost their prayer life after they became rich? Oh, no, after they bought their first car. There's something about comfort that can take away your intimacy, your intimacy with God. 
and that's the greatest contender for intimacy the thing that contends the most for your closeness to god is entertainment because you see intimacy something is coming in into intimacy entertainment something is entering one is love based one is the sharing of secrets one is the sharing of hearts and bodies the other is superficial because once you turn off the music the atmosphere is gone and that's why you go to clubs and you notice that the music must be at a particular tempo and even if you don't want to dance you will see someone say why are you sitting there just come on and have a good time how many of you realize when you get you get to those meetings you don't even need to learn the dance step again there's a spirit in the air you start throwing your hand like this you throw it that way it's like an anointing the power of environment the same way when you begin to spend time with god certain things will be happening to you not by reason of gifting but by reason of the environment listen if you do not learn how to deliberately spend time with god to the point that god observes you are trying to do something like this girl is trying to be close to me now we are all close to god by faith but i'm talking about that deliberate decision you see god <laughs> there was a brother in the bible he, jesus was going to recruit him as one of his apostles but the brother is a very rigid person and how many of you know that most of the people jesus recruited they are not not maybe i don't know maybe apart from john most of them have strong head the, some of them don't talk but the day they talk you that's the day you know that they have strong head can you imagine after jesus teaching philip will now say i have something Philip doesn't talk. Yes, sir. I've been listening to you. I kind of get what you are saying. You are trying to tell us that you are the son of God. Fine. I heard when Peter said you are the son of God and you said it's true. Say, fine, no problem. Uh, you say God is your father. Okay. We will know him as the almighty God. It's you that says your father. We want to see him. So that when if you're asking us to go and market this product, we need to know what we are going to market. We need to be able to say, we have seen him. Do you notice when Jesus was going to the Mount of Transgression, he did not take Philip. Philip would have fallen into error because his primary reason for coming will now become an idol in his heart. And I tell you, Jesus took the 12 disciples. He would have told Philip to be guiding the mountain downstairs. He would not take Philip. But there was an idol. Because when God asks us to come, there is a second requirement. And that is the requirement of faith. Hallelujah. That is the requirement. You want to be close to God. You may not feel anything for the next 100 years. You won't feel, you, if you feel good pimples, something is wrong with you. Because when I listen to some of these Americans on TV, you know, I just love God. Every time I wake up, I just feel His love all around me. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's okay. Let me agree with you. But our God is a faith God. Huh? Emotion, the, the value of emotion to Him is not as high as faith. Emotions are important. But you see faith. Eh? You can't please him without faith. That means if you come into his presence and you stand before him and you are singing, we are dancing unto the Lord, dancing hallelujah. If you responded to that song because of the melody, you are out. The first response he wants to see is that the moment you said, we are singing your spirit response in faith like you are standing before him that is the posture of your spirit physically you may be dancing eh? but in the spirit in your heart 
I am standing before the Almighty God. So when you have that posture of faith, then you also know that it is only in this area where you believe God 100% that anything you do can be pleasing to Him. Do you know why many people cannot help people financially? Even though they are Christians and they are prayer warriors, they don't have faith. Our Lord Jesus was teaching us and He said, if you give your brother a cup of water to drink, you will not lose your reward. Which means that there is a reward system in heaven for giving. Alright? Okay, let me rephrase. Heaven has a reward system that is based on works, not grace. Please put that down. Heaven has a reward system that is based on what? Works. Not grace. You see that grace I always claim it. It's God that has grace. You see how your life will be here. Eh? And the, what, the, what you will be in heaven when Jesus comes is work. It's not grace. Which means God will look at how you labored for him. Paul was teaching us and he said even though I was given the same amount of grace as an apostle, he said, yet, I did what? I labored more than them all. What he was saying was that there were other apostles, those who walked with Jesus, those who saw him, those who ate with him, those who slept with him, those who were there when he died, those who were there when he died, those, were the, those are the, one, the apostles with bragging right. Everything Paul had was, you know, I was just praying and Lord ministered to my heart that this morning we should do a teaching on the gift of the Spirit. All that one that Paul was saying, <laughs> like this guy is zealous. Ah, our Barry, we we worked with him. Ah, yeah, see, Paul, okay, okay, share, give him mic. Hallelujah. Say for there are diversities of administrations, but one spirit and one and diversity. Of... <laughs> Later, Brad Peter stood up. He said, the things that Paul teach. Koye. Even Peter was struggling. Say they are hard to understand. We know they are right, too, but they are, you know, <laughs> it's a higher, it's a higher dimension. So if you are in a conference where Peter and Paul will be teaching, who, who should preach first? <laughs> eh? The problem with Paul preaching first is that he will raise the standard and make it difficult for the next preacher. Have you ever been in the conference where the next speaker came up and said, I don't know where to start from. This man has... Eh? In those days when we were, you know, some years ago, when we used to hold conferences with myself, Pastor Desmond, and a few other pastors. So Pastor Desmond would say to me, say, Guze, Guze, that's mine. He said, Guze, now you go start. I, I, I didn't used to like that. So I used to ask him why he won't say anything. Sometimes you say, is the pro Desmond used to be our program. I think he's even watching. So he's like, <laughs> it's our program coordinator. You say, now you go start. Now me go finish. I didn't used to, sometimes I didn't like what I said. Why? He, said, he won't answer. I'll just move on. So one day he said to me, he said we have about 200 or 300 people in this hall. Who leads the parade? It's as important as who, who finishes it. In between, the, the guys on the track may become very slow. But if you have a good finisher, yeah. huh? number one, the first person had gained traction. The last person will try to augment what was done. Some other day, we come and you will say, you will come in third, because we used to be four. You will come in third, I will come in fourth. And every time he arranged that, something always happened in that. Like, it's as if he knew what was going to happen. So imagine that I finished teaching. Pastor Desmond now comes up and says, Well, I don't know what to say again. That's, <laughs> that's how I met my friend in Joss. We were in a meeting together, and I was teaching first. And he was teaching after, you know, uh, myself. I'm talking about chin talk. So when I finished preaching, then I invited him. He said, we will not preach. Oh. He stood up. He refused to stand up. 
Say, we'll not preach again. Ah, okay, we brought you all the way from the north. We've paid transport for you. We'll give you an honorarium. You must preach. Oh. Say, we'll not preach. Say, why? This was in the meeting. Oh. He said, he has said everything. That's how we became friends. Oh. I've never seen that kind of person before. That we refuse to preach on top of, I paid your transport fare. You now say, you know, ah, well, I preach, sir. You preach. You, you preach. <laughs> you preach. Do you know how much gone from Zaria to Ondo State? You now say because somebody preached, you know, uh, you preach. Oh, yeah. Say Jesus is Lord. Take. Take. <laughs> Many of the things some of us are trusting God for, they are not at this level. They are at this level. They are storehouses in the secret place. The secret place is the place of God's throne. You have to stay long enough because there is a principle that must be applied in the throne. Please stay with me. There is a principle that must be applied. Let me put it this way. For those of us that have young children, uh, when you are in your is it reception, that junior class, reception, grade one, grade two, grade three, most of what they ask them, they are like simple questions, right? During their exam, uh, A for Apple, or they ask, what is, what is your name, you know? So, there's a principle Jesus taught us. It's called the ask principle. Ask, seek, and knock. At one level, all you need to be a star and a genius is to understand the ask, A, S, you know, A, ask, and you shall be, and you shall be what? So, that ask is a direct just give me the answer. Huh? What's your name? Tunde. What's your name? Kemi. What's your name? Morayo. That's it. 100%. Your child, sir, your child is so brilliant. Wow. He needs to keep it up. So he said that those teachers are lying or they are trying to collect your money next time. They need to collect your money next time. So they need to tell you nice things. But at that level, if they were to give if it was the prize giving day, your child will also stand with the boy in grade five. Huh? Best student reception. Give me one name. <laughs> Joshua. They say Joshua Akintayo. He will just go. Sometimes they will even have to drag him. And stay with him so I can take the prize. But he will be there. Then you notice. Per each class, somebody is a tall, much taller person, much taller person, much taller person. Sometimes in grade five, the best student may be shorter than grade four. But let's assume that he's taller. Uh -huh. But look at the demand at that level. The moment that boy gets to secondary, those children get to secondary school, they begin to encourage them to seek. When they ask you a question, don't just give us a direct answer. Try to explain with a few lines and add examples. A noun is what? The name of a place, animal, animal place or thing. For example, Lagos, my brother, Ayomiku. You will say things that helps the teacher know that, okay, this person kinds of understands. It is another level. I'm talking about the secret place here. But when you get to the university, how many of you got to the university and the first thing your teacher told you, uh, GST or Physics 101, that I'm not here to spoon feed you. Who heard things like that? That you have to go and bury yourself in the library. And the library, when you got there, it was filled with, the books were covered in dust. Huh? Then you ask the librarian, please, I'm looking for a book on networking. But see, look at it. <laughs> you came to Sharafa Private Polytechnic, I'm looking for a book on networking. Sharafa Private Polytechnic. And you are looking for, oh, my God. <laughs> or you go to a, one particular section, and you, not, you just notice the moment you want to see a book, you will not see it again. 
in that library. You people don't go to library. The moment you decide to look for it, networking. It's as if somebody just came back to all the books on networking. Are you with me? You will now be struggling. Like, ah, then you call someone, please, uh, sir. You say, what level? I say, I'm in 300. Are you in computer center? Please, I'm looking for a book on networking. Ah. <laughs> Did they give you notes? <laughs> Did you buy the master's book? But what are we trying to say? As you begin to get older, they begin to stimulate your desire to what? To seek. To search. He said, ask, seek, knock. These are how we transact in the, in the, in the secret place. Huh? And now, just, please, are you with me now? Huh? Please stay with me. Oh. Because some of you know how to pray. But you don't know, you, you know how to ask. But you don't know how to search. The answer may not be a voice. It may be a discovery. You are waiting for an audible voice. Look around you. Maybe that's why God is not answering you. The thing is around you. Don't give him work. Don't share. We put the thing around you. You are still praying. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. <laughs> I saw one video. The person was saying, he said, Holy Ghost, don't let my hair be scattered. I don't know, something like that. So, so I, like, I like the song. So I saved a screenshot. I'll put it on my I'll look for it. So for all of you who like crazy things, you know, you say, Holy Ghost, come and scatter my, don't let me be normal, something like that. Uh -huh. So I like the song. I like that vibe. Huh? Please, I, now, now, please stay with me. Because if you are applying a wrong principle, at the level of CCNA, CCNP, uh, uh, you know, advanced uh, learning, call learning, you, there are some things you can't, at that level you can't cram again. You have to understand it. Some of those things, you cannot read the entire body of knowledge. You will need a team of friends that you can even teach and explain certain things to yourself. See, uh, uh, Pastor, I decided to go into programming. <laughs> Pastor, if you know, I went to Demio, I paid. I, I want, I've started. I, I already know you will fail. Just that I will not tell you. Ah, it's good, it's good, it's good. You want to learn coding. This one is not the one they are teaching my son in, uh, that they say they are deceiving themselves at, uh, at their school. I'm, I'm talking about, you want to be a software engineer, eh, developer. You now went to you, you Demi. Say you are just coming, you want to learn. At 28, your brain is not fresh again. Eh? The only chance you have, you must have a mentor. You must belong to a group. You must be join boot camps, join, you know, intent, go for intention. You must, if possible, have somebody that has interest in you. Because there's a way you learn certain things. You don't have time to teach other people. Because there's work in front of you. Say, sir, I was assigned to your department. I'm the new intern. Say, I'll be learning coding for, uh, programming for me. Have you read so-so book? Have you done so? So why are you here to disturb? Please get out. Because at the man you are talking to already has enough work in front of him as you come and teach you. There are levels that of, of and dimensions in the realm of the spirit you cannot touch if you don't have an investigative mind. You must be able to reach people. Don't look at them, read them. That ability comes from when God is able to read you. When you stay long enough and God says, I know Abraham, that he will command his children to what? To seek after me. You yourself will come out of that experience. You don't look at people, you can tell this person is not sincere. So there's a level where in your relationship with God, all God wants you to do is just ask. God, I'm hungry. And God will say, while you are still praying, joy will call you. Are you at home? Say yes, I'm passing. It's as if she knew. She carries a whole pot of soup. And here you are, innocent, single brother. Ah, there's Gary at home. This is this. Ah, God, what have I done to deserve this love? You are so faithful. Joy may not have known. Maybe Joy was traveling and she didn't want her soup to waste. She decided to. But for you, <laughs> See, you're Stabuki, you won't believe. 
you are not at home. You will believe. I had nothing. I just, I was, I have not even said, in Jesus' name we have prayed. Sister Joy just came. This God, see, we have to be serving him well, though. This God, hey, I'm, I was afraid. I, I, I quickly made a bar. I made a head. And I slept. Uh, see the way your destiny is looking at you. <laughs> Where you now reach one level, you now tell God, I want to expand this business. You know, before you just took a step of faith, let's just start, let's just start. God now says, You want to expand. Uh -huh. Now you are talking. Wilderness. Yeah, let's go to the wilderness. <laughs> you want to expand? Ah, that's what we do here. We expand. Ah, didn't you see my word? Expand to the left, expand to the right. Eh? Then that's what I. Ah, you expand. Come, come. <laughs> when God now starts with you. Say, you saw my son. Before I anointed him, when John laid hands on him and baptized him, you notice that he fell under the anointing. He went inside the water. Ah, John said, Yes, he cover him, mother. Zubra shata. Everybody saw it in church. What John did was what every pastor does. God yeah, have said the prophetic anointing upon you. Hallelujah. For this is the chosen one. You are the son of inheritance. Hallelujah. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Go. You are, bl you are blessed. And people say, ah, congratulations. Pastor doesn't prophesy like this every time. Ah, we have been here for three days. Ekwe, ekwe, ekwe. Always raining curse on all these Pharisees. And you, you just came and he changed. Ah, my brother, you are blessed. Ah, what's your name? Some brother Jesus, yeah. Ah, ah, you are lucky. You. The man has been raining courses for the last three Sundays. And I just was going to the door. The Bible says, Come, uh, bro. Come, gospel. This is, the, this is Jesus. Who? Come. Eh? Jesus, people are still greeting him that ah, today was a powerful service. Ah, I would like to know more about you. Ah, what's your number? I don't have phone. Okay, okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Will you see if you keep coming to this church? I know you're a first timer. You will see what will happen to your life. They were still encouraging Brother Jesus so, and thanking God for his life. And as uh, they were all going outside, the wind of the spirit came from somewhere and pushed it oh, into the wilderness. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you, Where are you running to? What? So, the Holy Spirit must have known, he must have been going to that wilderness a lot to know the direction. Say, so, oh yeah, face this place. You are not going home. Say bye bye to your mother. Oh yeah, go and sit down. Jesus did not plan to fast. You know, if you want to fast, you, <laughs> the, the, three, the, the three days before that fasting will start. Aku, Pandediam, do not. You want to Convince yourself that <laughs> that you will not die after this 40 days. So let me eat first. It's the energy inside we use to carry the, the one outside. So let me eat. Meanwhile, the way fasting works, if you like, eat 11.59. It's hunger that will wake you up the next day. <laughs> How many of you can testify to that one? Eh? <laughs> the spirit drove him. Say you want to expand. Do you know that when John laid his hands on him, he actually received the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit came upon him. Ah, I wish somebody is getting this thing. There is a first rain. Ah, the former rain. But what you need is not just the former rain. It's the former and the latter rain. Some of you came and received the former rain. You've heard me tell people here, as you are leaving here, start fasting. Huh? You've heard me tell people, go and start VG now, after you. Uh, you've heard me say it. It's because what they, that person is, it's not just the laying of hands. The person needs to go into a spiritual mode that allows God to set to with him. Jesus went there. He didn't plan to fast. He didn't plan to be there. He found himself there. Everything was all these use case scenarios, all the examples, all the training materials, the training videos, virtual reality, augmented reality, everything has been prepared for him. Just wear your headset and enjoy the ride. Jesus didn't 
plan not to eat. But when he saw where he was, he realized the only way to survive this place was to fast. And how do we know what he was praying for? Because we saw the result after 40 days. I am your son, but I'm here as a servant. I cannot do this work in the flesh. So he was seeking God, emptying himself. I am no more the son of Mary. He was em emptying his identity. Do you know that many times you need to die to who people have always known you to be? To become the person of that future. Do you know how many people know some of these popular guys you see today? Do you know that there were people who were in their class? I can't call them now. All they have is the yearbook. The problem is that you want to hold back to your past. And Jesus said, the son of Mary must die so that the son of man can be born. It is in these 40 days. If he didn't achieve that in 40, he will stay there for another 20. It was not a question of you must fast 40 days. It is when, look at how long it took him to evolve and emerge. All that anointing he got from John was to help him for 40 days. And when he emerged, the Bible said what? He said the, the first thing that happened to him was that he, be, he received the ability to command the angelic ministry. Somebody didn't hear that one. I said when Jesus finished that 40 days, the first thing that happened to him was that angels came. Not one, not two. Angels came and ministered to him. Do you know what it means to minister to him? You know he was hungry before. They came, this way they came to feed Elijah when he was tired and hungry. They came with heaven's food. Mana, the true mana. They came with it. Uh, you, where's the water? So water. Yeah. Then I set a table before him. Master, eat. We need you alive. You have tried. They want somebody who massage here. Yeah, so do like this. You are, you are stressed because you have been sleeping on the rock. I'm sleeping on the floor. Yeah, this. Yeah. So, they minister to him. Because it will not be good for you to carry this kind of anointing with a weak body. <laughs> the moment Jesus was coming into the city, the anointing was flowing like wind around. The Bible says his fame, his fame, huh? his fame what? began to spread all across the cities. Jesus did not need flyer. He would just come into a place. There was an aura like, this man is not ordinary. Let's follow him. This man. There is an aura you build in the secret. You can build it with people. It's you and God. When his aroma, his scent is all around you, it's just like being close to fire. You will smell smoke. Huh? When you stay close to fire, you come out and say, where are you coming from? You are, the smoke, the stench of smoke around you. This is the, the, you see, when you read Psalm 91, you need to understand that there are processes and procedures to this thing. So you ask, you seek. That's the second principle you must apply. The moment you notice that you have asked and the, door did, the answer did not come, that means what you are requesting for is on a higher level of intelligence. Please, are you with me now? I said the moment you've asked sincerely and in faith, and you've seen that, ah, ah, after six months, we have been asking, we are not seeing anything. That means what you're asking for, that, that generator cannot power your AC. Go and buy diesel gen. Don't pray. Oh, holy God. God, I shall pray now. Let your power come upon this. Uh, I better pass my neighbor. Let, let miracle happen. If your guardian angel wants to help you, say, Sir, we don't use this thing ever, but the way I'm seeing this thing cannot work. The way I'm seeing this thing cannot work. Do you, I saw one of your neighbors using one, those generators without noise. Can you buy that one? <laughs> say, you know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm living in one room. Say, ah, hey, okay. Maybe you are not ready for this miracle. You should hold on. Yeah, holy God, holy God. Shaking your shoulder, moving your shoulder will not. <laughs> some, some people are acting drama. Everything in the spiritual realm is about capacity. 
The reason why they chose somebody, chief IT officer, chief this thing in your office, is capacity, experience. He's been around for a long time. He has made his mistakes. You have to make yours. You will not get it all right. So I don't like the way he talks to me. Ah. <laughs> It's 30 years that he's talking to you. 30 years that he's, he says he shouts on me. He doesn't respect people. It's 30 years that he shouts on you. <laughs> Take it. That's how they shouted on him too. Manage. When you to get there, shout on the next person. <laughs> Ask. Seek. Huh? But you see, there's a higher level. can go to the office of your professor. Pa, pa, pa. Uh, good afternoon, Prof. Ah, Ben, how are you? I said, fine. Says, I brought your Tuesday leadership uh, newspaper that you like. Oh, thank you. In fact, you know, I forgot to buy it last week. Ah, no, 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 sir. Leave it. That's on me now. Say, uh, sir, uh, usually you have coffee in the morning. I don't know. I'm just feeling fuzzy. Ah, no, 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 no. Uh, just call Auntie Kemi that's under the tree on, in Unilag. Uh, send us some coffee now. Prof needs some coffee. Uh, sir, what kind of milk do you like? He said, ah, okay. Uh, sit down, Winger. Do we have a class today? No, sir. I just wanted to say, ah, about what? The door has been opened already. Some of you, what you are trying to do, you want to break the gate of heaven down. <laughs> Holy Ghost. <laughs> Holy Ghost. Even God is scared now. He said, yeah. This boy, boy he, oh, this, this boy, the way we are going, we need to get a carpenter. This boy will break down this, he will break down this place. Ah, bless you, boy. Where do you find this guy for? He, said, ah, he just gave his life to Christ. Ah, he gave his life to Christ. You want to start your career by breaking our door? Ah, what did they worry you? Please tell him we answer him. We should just leave the door. Don't touch the door. We will answer you. Ah, what's his name? He said, Moruf. He said, Can you imagine Moruf? You just came. <laughs> Who is your pastor? He said, you, ne you never get church. <laughs> That's how you want to break door. We don't break door. He just knock. We will hear you. Ah, close here. Say, I'm a ah. uh, It's not mad. See, behave, you see here, we have this. We will behave here. Next time, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> just, the way you are even shouting, I could not sleep. Just, ah, ah. Who is this? Are you a prayer warrior? Come on, say knock. Knock has to do with trying to, there's a level of influence that comes with the power to knock. Have you ever been to a place before and others waited and you walked in? Okay, have you been in a place before and you had to wait while somebody else went in? Somebody that you came before and you became angry but you couldn't talk. Some of you have never had to wait. <laughs> the pain. Okay, have you ever been at the Philist? Okay, for you guys. <laughs> uh -huh, shall you see now? During for scarcity, and you are queuing, you've been, you know, ah, today I must get for it. <laughs> One young lady is just there with her. Just, uh, uh, Mr. Dekunle, I'm around. Eh. You heard them talk you. Yeah, man, I, I will not allow them pass. I'm not, I'm not, they, they, they play. <laughs> they just came. Ah, hey, madam. Ah, sorry. You. And I'm sorry I overslept. I'm just. Uh, ah, hey, Augusta, I should bring your. The, how many kegs do you have? Ah, how many? <laughs> <laughs> just. See, I've been there for. I just told myself. I said I will be great. In this life, I will make sure I am great. Ah. Ah. For all you brothers that think that women are your mate, they are not your mate, too. <laughs> that girl in your class, they are saying, when you graduate, you marry her. She is not your mate. The person she's targeting is above you. <laughs> you go and target somebody below. That one is not your mate, too. <laughs> There's that sense in which, <laughs> okay, I hope he's not listening. So, my professor, my professor is an incorruptible man. And I can say it. There's one book, The Incorruptible Judge. Some of you did not read it. Go and read it. It's, 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 it's somewhere online. It's a very, it doesn't take anything from students. 
he doesn't if on his birthday he doesn't want you to wish him happy birthday he doesn't want he wants just my good mornings your assignment your 10 papers them so on his birthday the students decided we postgraduate students like happy birthday sir sir you are trying to keep it from us you were just looking at us Myself, the Reverend Fathers, and all of us say, ah, sir, the Reverend Fathers stood up, he spoke, ah, sir, we want to appreciate you because, you know, if he started, he said, in his mind, we are psyching him. But no, he's a very difficult man. The exam is coming. You understand? And we need to, like, oh, God, we are with you. We are for you. Just calm down, eh? Don't kill us in the exam, more, eh? And it's now your birthday. Be, ah, sir. Ah, no, no, no. We bought a gift. He said, no, I don't take gifts. I said, sir, we appreciate you. It's not because of anything. Sir, we need more men like you on this campus. Oh, yeah. You need more men like me. People say I'm a sadist. Ah, no, sir. You have no fear of favor. You just want to. Ah. Okay. So recently, there was an issue that came up. So my colleague, the two of us who are in his class, PhD class, just called and said, ah, something happened. Though. And I said, okay, let's send some token. I couldn't reach I sent my message. I said, good afternoon, sir. I'm so sorry about what happened. Please, I can have your account details. He just sent it. <laughs> In quote, eh? In quote. <laughs> now, I didn't have, of course, I knew that is not small money you are going to send. Okay. And you don't, it's not, it's not money that is budgeted for, you just have to cough it out. You see, when I sent that money, he didn't respond. Later that night, I think he saw the message. The man just came online, started praying for me. The man does, I'm not sure he believes in God, though, but he started praying for me. Eh? He said, you don't know what you have done. So you don't know what you have done, but I will remember, God will bless you. I don't know. I, I didn't even say amen. I just said, we are glad to be here with you. And I left it there. I said that to say this. We are talking about knocking. Please, are you with me? I'm not talking about bribe. I'm talking about knocking. Please hear me. Please hear me. Are you with me? I have 10 minutes to do this. My philosophy professors made a statement while I was having a chat with him just under the tree. I had written a paper for him and he told me, he said, ah, you know, you could really work on this paper and probably if I was your supervisor, you could do this for a PhD. So I now asked him some questions about the PhD program. And the man made a very profound statement. He said, for those of us who are professors, we see your master's degree as your first degree. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he said, we don't really believe you've gone to school until you have a master's. I said, what? What? My mom paid for first degree. I paid for second degree. You, you, you mean I just went to school? He said, but you see, PhD is different. He said, PhD is like a discipleship program. That's the language he used. The man is not a pastor. He said, have you seen people who didn't complete their PhD program until eight years after? They failed the discipleship program. Say PhD program is not all those things your lecturer will tell you, I don't take money. I don't know. I don't know. He said, that's for masters. He said, PhD, you will come to school, go with your supervisor to the class, Help him carry his bag, sit with him, watch the way he teaches the students, the undergraduates. He sees you taking notes as if you are also a member of that class. Sometimes he may be nice enough to introduce, say, okay, this is my PhD candidate is here. Uh, you may be seeing him sometimes. He will help you out. He will just say it without telling you, informing you ahead. Like whether you have time, he won't ask you. He said other times, you just realize, like I noticed this man normally likes rice, right? Likes to eat rice. Every, every Monday, 2 p.m. 
He will never tell you to go and get it. It's just like Jesus saying, I'm hungry. And Peter is sitting there. This No, Peter, go and look for food. It was when they went to look for food, Jesus was talking to the Samaritan woman. But do you know that by age, Peter was older than Jesus? Physically. Peter was a married man. Jesus was single. But when Jesus said he was hungry, it was Peter that went to buy food. Let it digest. Let, let this thing I just said digest. You are the one looking for something. Do you know that when I stood to defend my thesis and they saw the name of my professor, they were scared to ask me questions. Even though me, I was even afraid that if they asked me any questions, I would fail. I failed before, before coming into that place. They say, oh, okay, professor. Okay, 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 okay. Just tell us about your work. Okay, 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 okay. Have it. Nobody wants to get on his bad side because they know he doesn't take, he doesn't give. He's straight. Huh? It's a straightforward jacket. He doesn't do politics. So, if you are a student, there's a way you are perceived. If he accepts you as a student, huh? there's a way people perceive you. If Jesus says, upon this rock, I will build my church, there is a way Satan will begin to perceive you. Why did you think Satan raised an accusation against Peter? Jesus publicly said, you are the one that we use as the spirit. Jesus knew, Satan knew, Peter didn't see it. That if Jesus tells you, you will deny me. It's not a suggestion. Start praying. The man said to me, a PhD program, or if you like, the third level of the secret place is based on a level of proximity and discipleship that is between you and your God. Your relationship becomes better. The reason why you will not sin again is not because of the Bible. It's because you have a relationship now that you must protect. In spite of the Bible, you now choose righteousness. Because now you have met the God of the Bible and you realize, ah, if I want to be close to this person, this is the kind of life, this is the kind of dress. Have you noticed that when you see these Asian monks and uh, Buddhist monks, the moment they accept you, there's a part, the type of clothes they give to you. You might be coming from a rich family, but the moment they accept you into their discipleship program, you have to wear that orange gown like that. This is not a matter of man should not put our belongs to a woman, man should not wear. When you come, it's what we give you, you wear. When you go to the Catholic church, your father may be the one that built the parish in the village, once they take you huh, and they start training you to be a reverend father, they will give you a uniform. You can't say, no, my, my brother is a pastor of Aversa. This is the way, Oga. This is not Aversa word. Go to that room. Pick the one that fits you and come out. You have black, green, whatever. Pick the one <laughs> and meet us early morning mass on uh, tomorrow morning. If you argue, you cannot even argue. They would have worked on your brain before you got to that. You, you will not feel very blessed walking in the midst of people wearing that cassock. Because now even if you walk into a people say, Reverend, do you know my friends who are Reverend Fathers? When they walk into places where they are professors, many of them are Catholics. They stand up for them. Eh? Or more? Come on, we are not equal in this class. So. These are established, wicked people on campus. These are people who called us to a Zoom meeting and said, some of you will not make four points. And if you don't make four points, you cannot do a PhD. Because some of you, we have been observing you. When Reverend Father Bernard got his hand, ah, Reverend Father, I, I saw it. The woman stood up. Hey, he paid me. He paid me, said, I know be reverend fat. <laughs> now, like this, not enjoy. Ah. They graduated. We were the ones that were saying, This theory. This theory. Do you understand? So I don't understand. Reverend Father, no, not that one. It's only to show up and do the barest minimum. Except you don't want God to be your confession. The day you come for confession, we block you.
Now, that was just an example, okay? The professor might be high up there, but they know spiritual authority. At that level, huh? a student, it doesn't matter, he says, Joe, the moment they see you wearing that cassock, if you are, except you are not a member of the Catholic Church, once they see you wearing that cassock, you come around, go right to, hey, you see, the way they talk to you, oh, please, where do I feel the form? Okay, just write here, write here. If you go and try to say, say, read the form now, can't you see? Where, you're, you're the bio data. But, please, please, sir, please, sir, are you not a master's student? Why, why are you asking me all this question? Just read it. Chineke. <laughs> Let me tell you. The matters of your destiny are on the third level. The reason why many of us are stuck is because we don't want to grow. We don't want to evolve. You want to remain that same person huh? that people always know. And for you to be the person of your destiny, of your future, you must that old version of you must die. Because that old version of you cannot take the throne. The Joseph that always goes to report his brothers to his father cannot be the, the father of Pharaoh. Cannot, cannot. Truly you are gifted, but you are not ready. <laughs> this third level of knocking is a to knock is a deliberate decision. You have seen that there is a treasure behind this door. And you realize that there is no amount of learning that will give you access to the treasures behind this door unless you receive help. So you are knocking on the door and asking, can you guide me? Behind the third door is not just an answer. It's a, there is a person. Please note that. Behind the third level, ask, seek, and knock. That knock, it's a person that will open the door. Behind that third level, it's not just an answer. There is a person. Huh? For Jesus, it was John. For Elijah, for Elisha, it was Elijah. For Apostle Paul, it was Barnabas. There are people God will put into your space, and their only assignment in that moment is to tell you, go left. Okay, so I just said it. Just once I say, just delete it. I don't even know if I'll be putting my life on. Call my secrets are out there. So I was talking to someone from India. It's like a partner or something. So he now said, oh, have you seen this particular website? In this owned by this organization in your country. And I said, no. So he now sent me the link. And I said, look at this, look at this. But you know, while he was asking me to look at, pay attention to certain things, I saw something else. Please pay attention. I'm talking about how one door opens other doors. It was on a call, all right? And he was telling me, pay attention to this. Can you see this? Can you see what the person did? Now you need to model this. Huh? To scale. Do this, do this. But while he was explaining, I saw something else. Huh? I saw the name of a, a foreign, a global organization. I didn't know them before. I just saw the name on that website. Huh? And I just felt inclined. Send these guys an email. I didn't hear a voice. I had an impression. Send these guys an email. I didn't even, it was just the initial of the company name that I saw. I didn't, up to, I, like I did, up to now, I don't even know their phone. So I sent them an email. Come on, say, knock. So when you knock, what opens? The door what? Opens. Behind the door is a person. That person doesn't have to be a born-again Christian. But he would have been sent there by God for your next season. So I sent an email to this organization and they replied me 
and they, they asked me one or two questions. I just answered. They gave me a template. I responded. I sent to them. Then they replied. They said, we would like you to represent us, Africa Middle East. Eh? Middle East, like Qatar, Iran, Saudi Arabia. Just give me Nigeria. <laughs> what am I going to do in Qatar? Where they are bombing, all those places where they are bombing themselves. This place is okay. Bottom line, the person who spoke to me didn't know that he opened another door. Those kind of doors, you need somebody to what? Open them for you. Because you don't have what it takes to open it. Many times you will be guided into those doors. Other times you will stumble into those doors. You will just stumble on the opportunity and it will only be later you will realize what you stumbled on was gold mine. Huh? Like gold mine. They offered me a partnership that will cover, that will cover Africa and Middle East. And when I looked at the partnership, I don't in fact, it's as if I've even signed my life here. I already signed the team. And I don't know what I signed. I had to call some of us in church here and ask, what is this? Okay, this one is uh, information system. This one is ISO. This one is cyber security. This one is it. My brother, I did not study IT. I was, I'm just giving an example. Please delete everything I've said because maybe I should not have like, Bottom line is that if you are not sensitive, if you're always in a rush, God may be leading you through a pathway that will lead to a bigger door. But because you, you are a straight jacket, you don't look left or right. If you are on the express, you only look at, you don't look at any signboard or anything. You just keep looking through. You will miss out on some of the side attractions. The person who opened this door doesn't even know he was used to open another door for me. Do you know the funny thing? I was not required to pay one dollar. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand? Like when you go into those kind of partnership, they ask you to pay five thousand dollars to get your license. They told me, say we don't need anything from you. They just asked me, send your CAC certificate. That was all. Some of it I say, I will say, I don't know, Pastor, do you think I should register my business or I should be using my uh, uh, money point account? See the way your destiny is looking at you. <laughs> Pastor, I have OPO. That OPO is if I, the month you send it, I'll get the alert. Some of you have been prepared for global influence and impact. Come on, say amen. amen. Watch out for those doors that lead to other opportunities, other doors. Ask, seek, and knock. All these di are dimensions and depths of the river in the secret place of the Most High. I want you to pray for yourself this morning. If you have been operating at that first level, I want you to ask for the second level. If you have been operating at the second level, I want you to pray for the third level. If you have been operating uh, at the second level, you can ask God, I need the second level and the third level. Listen to me, God is about to do something new in your life. It will be about your skill, but it will not be only about your skill. It will also be about the supernatural direction that God will be. Is, can I have somebody who wants to pray this morning? Let's pray for two minutes. I want you to pray and ask God to lead you into the door that will open other doors. The door that, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. The door that will open to you and you will be received as a person of influence. You will not be received as a rookie. You will be received as a person. Can you pray for yourself this morning? So, put down your phones if you are chatting or that, and pray this morning. I say, God, lead me to this door that opens other doors. You said, if I ask, I can seek. You said, if I seek, I can also knock. I want you to knock this morning. I want you to knock on the door of your new season. 
Can I have somebody who is fervent enough to press? Can I get one person who can press? Listen to me. There is somebody who can use that skill you have. And you will begin to do business for more than 10 nations. You will begin to connect with people in more than 10 countries. Can you... Can you can you tear up your spirit? Can you tear up your inner man? Can you tear up your inner man? I need three people who need to pray so that this door can open. Do you know you can become a global influencer? Do you know that God can lead you? That God can lead you into a door that opens other doors. Can you hold somebody by your side? Leave, stand up on your feet and hold somebody right now. Hold somebody right now and begin to prophesy. The door that opens other doors. The door that opens other doors. The door that opens. Can you pray? Can you pray? Aren't you tired of this level you are in? Aren't you tired of this season you have stayed in? You have tarried on this mountain for too long. Lord, we are not just asking. We are seeking. We are seeking. We are seeking. We are knocking. Open to us of the thresholds of your presence. Open to us of the thresholds of your presence. We want to begin to we relate to divine information. We want relevant information that is attached to our next season. Lord, we receive it. Lord, we receive it. Lord, we receive it. Open to us uh, the gates of righteousness uh, that we may go in. Uh, don't be satisfied. Uh, don't be satisfied. Uh, if you ask, uh, your father will not give you a serpent. Uh, if you ask, uh, your father will not deprive you. Uh, he will give you the Holy Ghost. Uh, who will teach you all things. Uh, he will teach you how to move to the next level uh, in your career. He will teach you how to move to the next level uh, in your business. Uh, he will teach you how to move to the next level uh, in your marriage. Uh, lift up your voice and pray. Uh, and ask that the God of heaven uh, will begin to open those doors. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, that he will begin to open those doors. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, call upon me uh, in the day of adversity, uh, and I will answer you. Uh, call upon the Lord, uh, call upon the Lord. Uh, there is a door that opens other doors. Uh, we we'll receive it. Uh, for everyone in this meeting uh, will receive it uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, the door that opens other doors. Uh, the door that opens other doors. Uh, the door that opens other doors. We receive as a church, we receive in the mighty name of Jesus. We receive. We receive as a church. Pray some more, pray some more. This is very peculiar to your destiny. Pray some more in the spirit. Doors that open to other doors. Doors that open to other doors. Press in the spirit. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Wow. Hallelujah. Can we be seated? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we glad in the house? Hallelujah. Can we appreciate Pastor for that powerful time? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Wow. Um, I, I feel like as you just continue in the in that trend of prayer. Hallelujah. But let me control my spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is Harvest Word Assembly, Maryland. Hallelujah. Lagos, are we glad to be in church this morning? Hallelujah. 
is good when you are in church because you don't know what the angels as bring for your good. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay, the offering basket can be passed. Hallelujah. And if you want to give electronically, you can as well do so. All right. Two services every Sunday here in Maryland. Hallelujah. We, are, we also have other centers at Bagada, at Lekki, and likewise in Benin. Hallelujah. Our first service starts here in Maryland, 8 o'clock, 8 a.m., and the second service starts by 9.45. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bible study every Tuesday here in the auditorium. Hallelujah. By 6 p.m., Bible study. Please, I want to encourage everyone to be part of this Bible study. The Bible talks about faith comments by hearing and hearing of the word of God. Faith comments. You, you have to continue to hear. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer meeting on every Friday by 6 p.m. on Miss Hellhard and on YouTube channels. I want us to also join that opportunity. This opportunity is for us is for us. Hallelujah. Thy kingdom comes prayer every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday by 6.30 a.m. I, I realize a lot of people have not been joining. It's good to start your day, you know, on a very good note. Hallelujah. Please, I want to encourage every member of Harvest Wood Assembly to be part of that prayer. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Friday. And six thirty on Miss Elhar. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All right. Do we have anyone uh, in this auditorium for the first time? This is your first time in this auditorium. We'd like to know you. We'd like to celebrate you. Hallelujah. Do we have anyone in this auditorium? This is your first time in this auditorium. Okay. Do we have? Wow, hallelujah. Can we appreciate them? Can we celebrate them and welcome them to the church? This is the city of refuge. Prophecies, miracles, happen when we worship. This is the harvest word. We find a dwelling God's love. Establish the word of truth. Prophecies, miracles, happen when we worship. Welcome to the house. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I know you stayed around Menden. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We'd like to see you again and we love to receive you. One of our pastors will reach out to you after the service. You are blessed. You can have your seat. Hallelujah. All right. Are we good to go? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want to stand up and just ask. Uh, a prayer request from the Lord. Hallelujah. As we close the first service, just stand up and ask the Lord one thing you want the Lord to do for you. Also, I want to also encourage you to go listen to that um, sermon again. Hallelujah. Just open your mouth and begin to speak to God. That request that has been your mind, that has been your heart, the line is open to ask the Lord this morning. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Hallelujah. The second service.